mosquitoes. I'm yeah. so stumping cookies. Look, I'm so excited. The pepper is growing. The pepper is growing. And let's see about this other plant. Or the pepper. Here's another pepper. Pepper right there and right here. The peppers are growing, so I'm really excited about the peppers. And the squash is growing. Thank you, Jesus. It's growing. Look at the inside of the female flower. It looks different from the male flower. Uh, I planted lettuce here. And that sprouted. And this is a soil block that I bought, a compact soil. But um, it's not rained yet. Ooh, but it's supposed, it might rain today. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, I got this on Amazon for twelve dollars. It's a good deal. Good soil, and the insects don't like the coconut core that very very much. So less insects for falling in the soil. Although it looks like these mosquitoes are everywhere though. And the morning glories are open. I pulled the sunflower down because I wanted to make space to put something here. So I wanted to put the raised bed here, so I moved the sunflower over. Oh, the zinnia opened. The zinnia opened. Oh, one of the zinnias opened. I, I even sacrificed, like just having this plant here is a sacrifice because it's obviously a sick plant and it has powdery mildew on it. But I just a tiny ladybug. Let me see if that's a um that's like a mite, I think. One of those little mites, I think they're called, like red mites. Where is it? Where'd it go? So Oh, I see a ladybug. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, wait, wait, I see something tiny here. Wait, I don't know if I could get it right there yeah yeah how's the lavender oh the lavender needs water it's dry it needs moisture that's not good it's gonna die if we don't water it okay yeah so I put the zinnias here but next year I'm gonna put the zinnias in the ground most likely I'm just gonna throw the seeds like where I can find a bare ground. But I put the zinnias in here. I don't know why I did that, but I did. But this one, I think I'm gonna have this be like the herb pot where there's gonna be lavender. There's already peppermint in here too. So lavender and peppermint could be in here. And they prefer more, like the lavender prefers more moisture than the zinnias, I think. Oh, I also have beans growing here. In one pot. Also, peas. I put peas in here. But the powdery mildew doesn't help. But I just left it here because I really wanted to see the zinnias open. So... Yeah, I'll probably cut this flower then so I could bring it inside. Over here, the tomato. Let's see, where's the tomatoes? I thought I saw tomatoes on this plant. Oh, here it is. Little like cherry tomatoes. But it's not getting enough sun. Like it needs, for the fruit to ripen, it has to get more sun. And this spot used to get a lot of sun in the summertime, but now that it's fall, I feel like it's not getting as much sun in this spot. And also there's trees in the back that are blocking some of the sun. Mommy, look, there's, there's a big weed in the tree. 
Yeah, there's a big weed in the tree that also is blocking the sun because it's grown out of control to cover the tree, covers the trees. So that's really annoying too. So it's hard to get that weed out too. And I've been trying to pull some of it. Got the basil here. And um, so this sunflower is obviously dying. It's obviously past its prime now. It's probably going to seed which is good. We can collect the seeds. We have to water some stuff. Here's the parsley. We have an abundance of parsley. Thank God. We have a lot of parsley. And I heard parsley does well in the frost. I also heard that it comes back. Like you could get it again next year. The dr snapdragons came back from last year. It looks like some oregano spread itself over here. Oh, I think it was because there was an animal that came and knocked over the seeds and it spread some of the oregano on this side. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, so the snapdragons, I bought these last year and they came back again this year. And there's, they're going to seed. So I could like take the seeds and spread it somewhere. I heard the, the snapdragons actually like the shade a lot. They'll grow much better in the shade from watching the gar one of the gardeners. I watched so many of them that I don't even know. I can't keep up with all. <laughs> I don't remember all their names, but. But I will say that they're all really helpful with a lot of information in the garden. Yeah, so we have this geranium. Look at that. My strawberries, I didn't get really... Oh, let me see if that strawberry plant went... How it's doing. This has... Oh, this has strawberries on it. It has three strawberries. Look, see, look, Amaya, these are going to be strawberries. See these plant right here? It's going to have three strawberries. For some reason, these don't have strawberries yet. Maybe next year. They keep producing runners, and I keep pulling the runners. But... I don't know. I don't know if they need some extra feed or something. He's been my tea too, mommy. I will say that the green looks so nice on the. <laughs> they look nice and green over here, the leaves. And over here, it looks like mommy, the leaves are here. not as green. Okay. Okay, where are we going? There's something right there. Oh, the calendula. Yeah, I want to make some calendula ointment for our skin to heal our mosquito bites. Uh, I have mosquito bites on my legs. Yeah, they're coming after you. Uh, I just want on yeah. That's why we have to come back with pants. Oh, let's see the cucumber. Ow. Here's the cucumber growing. The cucumber is growing. Here's another cucumber growing. The tomatoes over here are growing nicely. I got these from my gardener. I think these are the geranium ones or they might be the dwarf tomato. I don't remember which one. I planted geranium tomatoes and dwarf tomatoes. But I don't have a whole lot of space. So sometimes I don't remember. I Oh, and this pot I planted, I think these are the geranium tomatoes that I planted. I think I remember, I think so. 
and they look really nice. I think they need water. Feels a little, yeah, it feels dry. It feels dry here. I have to water this, but it's supposed to rain today, so I don't want to overwater it. So I'm, I'm just gonna wait for the rain. I think. Yeah. Yeah. They say sometimes if you let it, um, you can let the the tomato roots like they'll reach further down into the ground or the pot for nutrients and water it'll help the roots this is soil but it needs water so that it could expand see it's coconut soil it's made from coconut coconut core so I'm gonna fill the raised bed with this and regular soil. Here I have straw that I got from Heritage Farm. But um, well, but I think we should maybe head upstairs. Here's a blueberry plant. I didn't see any blueberries on this this year. I'm not sure why. I. Maybe it didn't have enough. Maybe the soil is not really great for it. Maybe it needs something. So I have to figure it out, find out, research why it's not producing blueberries. I need to wash asses on this. But, um, yeah. Yep. Tomatoes, waiting for these to ripen. Just waiting for things to ripen. Waiting for it to get red. And it needs more sun for that. It needs more sun. And the sun is over there. Rising in the east. So hopefully we'll get some more sun now. I might have to cut down that tree over there. Mommy, can you get that pink morning glory? Yes. Yeah. I would like to sell some morning glory seeds because I have so many. And I just... I mean, I'm not really much of a salesperson. I just love gardening. I don't, I'm not one who knows how to make money. I just like gardening. It's just fun. I just do it because it's, I love to see the beauty that God made. And I want to keep doing it, but it, ta it does take money to even do this. Like, oh, look at the cucumber. Like the seeds cost money, the soil costs money, like, because I don't know if this soil, I would use the soil right here, but I don't know how good the soil is here in the earth. So I don't really use it much for gardening because I haven't tested it, but I do want to buy a test to see if there's any lead in it or anything like that. But. Here's my lovely basil. I love basil. It tastes so good. And the calendula is growing. I mean, marigolds and calendula are like in the same family, like the same thing. So I think I'm gonna pull some of these to make uh, a tea or something. You smell like coconut milk. Coconut milk and look at all these seeds. We can save the seeds when they dry up like that We can save those seeds for next year We have so many uh, Marigold Ooh. seeds now because it produces so much it just keeps producing Oh Oh, <laughs> good
I planted lentil here. I don't know what's gonna happen with it. I don't know. I've never planted lentil before. This is the first time. So that's cool. Let's see, do we have any beans or anything? Yeah? Eight, nine, ten marigolds. These little blue flowers, they're weeds. They're considered weeds, but they're so pretty. And they're edible. These are edible. They're so pretty. Ooh, I just saw a bee land in the flower of the squash. Oh, it's so cute when they do that. They're so cute. And the bees, I don't worry about them so much. Like, they don't, like, they're not violent like the wasps. The wasps were like, I'll kill you and your whole family. But the bees are just like, I'm busy. I'm just busy, like, going from flower to flower. I'm not worried about you. <clears throat> and, <gasps> Amaya, no, you just dumped out all the bolts. No, 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 no.